and welcome to another Xcode tutorial. This tutorial, we're going to learn how to make a calculator. And this calculator, sort of like a scientific calculator, and I'm just going to give you a demo. I'm just going to open up the simulator right here. Like that. And okay. Okay, good. Now here I'm just going to open up calculator. And it might take a while. Okay, here it is. Here's the app we're going to make today. So, y you can add, subtract, multiply, divide. And you can also take a square root. And so, this is how it works. If you wanted to do like 18, 89 plus 98, you do 89, enter, 98, plus. That gives you the answer, which is 187. And... I'm just going to clear, and this is how you take square roots. So let's say you want to take the square root of 36. Enter 36, press enter, and take the square root button, which gives you 6.0. Okay, now we're going to learn how to make that today. Close the simulator and open up Xcode. Sorry if it's a little slow. Okay, now... Okay, there. And um, create a new Xcode project. Now here, select single view application and click next. And here, we're going to call this calculator. And the language is Swift because we're using Swift. And device is iPhone for now. Okay? Click next. And just, I'm just going to create it in documents and replaces. Okay, so first thing, deflect landscape left and landscape right in the project right here because we don't want it. Or you can use, actually, we're going to do this if you want to. You can do this, but I'm, we're just going to work with it. Okay, I'm just going to go to main.storyboard. And here, these in file inspector, deflect U size classes here. And depending on what you're working with, we're working for iPhone. You select here, there's an iPhone and iPad selection, and you click here, and it gives you a nice iPhone screen. So. Okay, so first thing we drag on is a label. We're just going to say zero for now. And for now, we're just going to set up the storyboard first before typing anything. Okay, so, um, uh, let's better go here. Okay, so make it nice and big, nice and wide, and f set the width to 288 and the height to about 77. That would be a good one, and uh, right align text in the attributes inspector. This is a uh, size inspector, and this is the attributes inspector. And set the font to like 50. Okay, that would be good. And also, in auto shrink, instead of 6 font size, we're going to do minimum font size, and it's going to be 9. Okay, and also, I'm just going to set the background to orange. And also, drag on a button. It's going to say 7. And I'm going to set the height to 39. And I'm going to set the font to 23. And I'm just going to cop copy it with Command C. Or you can go to Edit and Copy. And Paste with Command V. Paste again. Now I'm just going to copy these three with Command C and paste with Command V. Okay, so anyway, here, let's paste it again. And drag it here. And paste it again. Like that. Okay. And actually, I'm just going to drag this. So select all nine of these, drag it up. Select the six of these and drag up. And select the six of these and drag up. Okay, like that. And also, this is going to say 8. 
this is going to say 9. This one is going to say 4. This one is going to say 5. And this one is going to say 6. And this one is going to say 1. This one is going to say 2. And this one is going to say 3. And this one is going to say 0. And this one is going to say enter. Try it here. Like that. And it's full. We're going to go to Xcode, edit, and we're going to do special characters. And we're going to select the square root symbol. Whoops. And you can also find it in this part. And we're going to go to search and we're going to search for square root. Here it is. Okay, there. Now, also, um, paste again. Because, sorry. Okay, there. And drag this here. And instead, I'm going to come and paste this one. And drag this here. So then I'm just going to delete these two. And, oops. Okay. Copy and paste these. This and. Okay, and again, open up special characters, and we're going to use these plus, minus, uh, times and divide symbols. So, in here, this one's going to have a plus, this one's going to have a minus, this one's going to have a times, and this one's going to be divide. Now I'm going to close this and save it. And that's all we need for now. I'm going to go to viewcontroller.swift. First thing we're going to do, delete all this code. Because we don't need it for now. Okay, and here. Sorry for this. This. Okay, so and inside here, I'm gonna put at sign I B L it space var space display space colon space U I label exclamation mark. Okay, and under that, I'm gonna have an I B action. So. If an IB action is what happens when you click on a button, IB action responds to that. So here's how you declare it. Say at sign IB action space funk space. This one is going to be enter number space um open parentheses open closing braces and close closing braces, and it should put in the closing warning. Inside these uh, open parentheses, we're gonna put sender colon UI button. Okay, and inside here, I'm gonna put let digit equal sender dot current title. Okay, and we're gonna put an exclamation mark. Okay, this is unwrapping it because current title is option is an optional, which means might something might happen. And yeah, okay, so it's an optional, and by putting the exclamation mark, we're unwrapping it. Okay, under it, we're gonna put if this. Oh, sorry, actually. Something up here we have to enter. We're gonna have in var user is 
entering. Numbers equals false. Okay, and also in the error, I'm going to put an if statement. This is if user is entering numbers and open my curly braces, and inside here, I'm going to put display. dot text equals digit okay and here I'm gonna put an else statement I'm gonna put display dot text equals digit and actually sorry oh sorry okay here I'm gonna put display dot text okay like that and also sorry so and here it's gonna be user is entering numbers equals true and it's up okay and after you're done with this let's go ahead and go back to main storyboard to link everything up so this is going to be the display. I'm going to open up the view controller. Enter number is going to be 7. Select touch up inside. 8. Touch up inside. 9. Touch up inside. And 4. Touch up inside. 5. Touch up inside. So you'll link it up to every number on the screen. Except for a label because it's not a button. Okay, so let's check in if I have all of them. Okay. Mm. okay. Last one, zero. Okay, save it, and we're going to run on iPhone 5S. Click run. Okay, we're going to open up the simulator, and hopefully it will come out as we planned. Okay, what this will do is we can enter numbers, but we can't, like, in, this won't do anything. Like, if you enter 78, you can, like, enter any numbers. And if it fills the screen, it keeps on getting smaller. That's what the minimum font size does. After a while, you can't really see it, and then it gets dot, 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 so... Okay, one more thing. We're going to add, add a clear button. Like that. Just drag it here. So at least it's visible. Okay. I'm going to go to viewcontroller.swift. And inside here, I'm going to have another IB action. That's called... That's called... Um... That's called enter, and we're gonna put at sign ID action as usual. Funk enter, and we're not gonna have any sender, so it's not gonna have any state arguments in here. And I'm just gonna explain what this does here. So, digit, so we're saying let digit, let what's the difference between variable and let? Let is a constant. That means you can't change it. And var is you can change it. So yeah. And digit equals sender, which is the button. Dot current title, which is the button's text, or is the title of the button. Sender is the button, you know. It says UI button. And the exclamation mark, obviously, is for unwrapping. And here, if the user is entering a number, that means if like the user's entering numbers, we already have it here because it when the view just loads up, the user is not obviously not entering numbers, but when they do, when they're not, and 
they're still typing. It says display dot text equals digit. You either enter a number or equal true. That means the next time they enter a digit, the digit will go off the first one or the the stuff in fr front of it. Okay, that's what it does. And in the enter, we're gonna put users is entering numbers equals fal false. And next line, we're gonna put uh, we're we're gonna actually have another variable. It's gonna be called. It's gonna. We're gonna call this var operating stack. Stack equals array. Um, less than sign, greater than sign, double. That means it, we're creating an array that only has numbers that are doubles, which means it has more than two numbers after the decimal point. And open parentheses and close parentheses. Okay, and here we're going to put operand stack. Operand stack dot append. And here we're just going to leave it as display text dot text. Explanation mark close parentheses. But if we try this, it turns out an error, and we're just going to fix it late. We're going to fix it soon, okay? But we're going to have to have to declare something first. We're going to have a variable. It's called display value. And we're going to space colon space double. Because we only want our array to have numbers that are doubles. That's why I would have this. But you can't. You have to give it a value first. And, sorry. Okay, here there's an error that says the class view controller has no initializes. That means you have to initialize this, right? If you, you, you can leave it here, but you have to give it a value soon. A, so here it's asking us to set this to something, but we're going to set it in a different way. Here's how we're going to set it. Space. We're gonna put open curly braces, and inside here we're gonna put get, and we're gonna have another one which is set, and inside get we're gonna put return, which means you're returning the value. Return ns number formatter. Space open open parentheses dot number from string and inside here we're going to put display dot text exclamation mark close parentheses exclamation mark dot double value and basically what we're doing is we're actually converting display dot text to a double okay. And, yeah. okay. and here in set we're gonna put display dot text text equals quotation marks and inside we're gonna put here's how you put to convert a variable into a string and I'm gonna show you and how you do that. Okay, so first thing we're gonna put a backslash and it automatically turns black parentheses and inside here we're gonna put new value. It's just there for you. In the in a get and set value thingy thing, we're gonna there's always a new value. So yeah. Next line, and we're gonna put user is entering numbers equals false false. Okay, and that's about it. Here, instead of this part. Instead of display.checked, we're going to put display value. Okay, and it will allow you because this is a double. We specify that it's a double. So it must be double. Okay. That in append means you're adding the display value to the end of the list. 
And also, here, we're going to put print ln inside here, quotation marks. I'm going to put operand stack equals backslash as usual. Print, open parentheses, and inside here, I'm going to put operand stack. That's about it. Okay. Now I'm go, just going to go back to main storyboard and link this up, and you can see what happens when you enter a number. So we're going to put enter on this one and run. And you'll see what happens. So print ln prints to the logs, and I'll show you where the logs are right here. This is the logs. Go back here. So let's say I put in 89. Press enter. Operating stack equals brackets 89.0. So the, the way an array is converted to a string is all the values inside the array are put in brackets. And see, we entered 89. Let's enter 20. Let's say we enter 23. Press enter. It has it appends this to the end of the list, which means it adds it to the end of the list. You can keep on pressing numbers. And you, you can keep on doing it. Just adds to the end of the list. Okay, let's close the simulator. And in here, we're going to have... I'm going to go to, back to viewcontroller.swift. And under the display value, I'm going to have an IV action for the clear button. Because we want to clear the screen. And here I'm going to put display value equals zero. And I'm going to put display dot text equals quotation marks. And inside the quotation marks, I'm going to put backslash, open parentheses, display value. Okay. And also under this, I'm going to have another IV action. Funk. Uh, operate uh, and inside the open open inside the parentheses I'm gonna put sender colon UI button okay and uh, curly braces before we start any code inside here I'm gonna have four functions okay they're for the operations, which are add, subtract, multiply, and divide. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to do, so we're going to put func, add, and and add inside the, put inside the parentheses. I'm going to put op1, colon, double, which means Operation 1 is double. OP2 is also a double. And outside, we're going to put an arrow, and then we're going to put double. Point to double. That means we're going to have two, we're going to take two, two doubles, and we're, we're, we're going to have to, we're, we want to return a double. Clear. I'm going to put, I have to put, uh, And here, here's where it's really simple in the add. We're gonna do just we're gonna return a value. Return op1 plus op2, and we're just returning a value. We're adding them, and that's how that's why it's add. Okay, so we're doing addition here. And then another function. So we're gonna do func subtract. And inside here, I'm going to put the same thing. Usual. OP2, colon, double. Okay, and as usual, we're going to return double. 
and we're gonna have a return. OP1 plus OP2. Actually, this is minus. What we're gonna do is we're gonna copy and paste these two functions. And this one's going to be multiply. And this one's going to be a, an asterisk, which is a multiplication symbol. And this one's going to be divide. Okay, once we got the four functions, um, let's continue. And it's going to go up here. Inside here, I'm going to put if. Actually, here I'm going to have a switch function. First thing we're going to do let operation equal sender dot current title exclamation mark and we're going to have an if statement that says if user is entering numbers so here I'm going to put enter okay and under here I'm going to have a switch function that means we're going to there, there are multiple cases so we're going to put switch operation and open curly and close curly braces. Okay, so here I'm going to put case, case quotation marks. So here I'm going to actually open up the special characters. And you can find it in history if you already used it. So here I'm going to put case plus colon. We're going to put perform operation. Actually, no, sorry. We haven't done that yet. But okay, we're going to have all our cases. Inside here, I'm going to have a minus case. And inside here, and have the times, and I'm gonna have another one. That's a divide. Okay, and as usual, we're gonna have a default colon break. Also, I'm just gonna say the square root here because. As usual, we also need a square root. Okay, that's it. And actually, we're gonna add a few, two more functions. It's called perform operation. So it's func perform operation. Inside the parentheses, we're gonna have to put some arguments. We're gonna put operation colon parentheses. Inside here, I'm gonna put double, double. And as usual, we're gonna have an arrow and it's gonna point to a double. That means we want two doubles and we're going to return double. And we're going to have an if statement that says operand stack dot count is less than or equal to two because we we need at least two numbers to do the op to do the operation, right? We need two numbers in the array. Like, if we did this, we can't use it. So inside here, we're gonna put display value equals 
operation and I'm going to put open parentheses and so here I'm going to put operand stack dot remove last colon I mean uh uh, comma inside here. I'm gonna another one with upper and stack dot remove last. So that means we're remo removing two of the last ones. Okay. Also, inside here, we're gonna have another one because um you only need one number to the square root. And actually, I'm gonna have copy and paste this. That and the operation instead uh get rid of get rid of these parentheses and like that and instead so it's going to be one and get rid of this part okay and here i'm gonna put in the case plus, we're going to put perform operation, and I'm going to put since we only have one, since we only have one operation to do, we're going to inside here, we're going to put dollar zero plus dollar one. These are just the two values that we said here. So this is dollar zero, and this is dollar one. Actually, this is dollar one. This is dollar. It does not really matter for addition. Here we're gonna put another one, and as usual, is in curly with close curly brace. Inside here, I'm gonna put dollar one minus dollar dollar zero. Okay, and. Add this and Swift will automatically automatically recognize dollar zero and dollar one as these two numbers. Okay, and here we're gonna put perform operation. Neutral. This one's going to be. It does not really matter what the order is because this is multiplication. Multiplication is commutative, so the order does not matter. Just to be neat, I'm just gonna put dollar zero and dollar one. And here, perform operation. And this one's going to be dollar one and dollar zero because, as you know, um, uh, division is not commutative. This will be an asterisk, not. And here, also, instead, we're going to put perform operation. And inside here, as usual, we're going to have curly braces. Inside here, we're going to use the built-in square root function. So you put SQRT. And inside here, we're going to put dollar zero. Okay. Okay. Now, here. After you're done typing, actually here, sorry, uh, here, we're going to put enter. Also here, we're going to put enter, oh, or else it won't give you the ballot. Now let's go back to main that storyboard, and we're going to link up the stuff. So this is clear, and this is and this is operate. This is operate. So with the UI button, you can have with the center of UI button, you can have multiple buttons that link to it. Okay, and also this one. Okay, once you have everything linked up, let's run. Okay, and here, let's say we want to do a uh, two plus three. Side so two, enter, plus three, plus. 
And you see what it did? It, mo it removed two and three, and it replaced it with the five. That means, see, we removed the two last ones, and we added another one. Well, what enter does is it adds the new number. That's why we put enter. It adds it to the new stack in case you want to do more operation to this one. Like, we want to do, like, enter plus or listed 23 uh, times gives it these two values. Okay, so uh, let's quit. Also, you can take square roots. Say I want to put take the square root of this. Gives me the answer, which is a very big decimal. Okay, here. Okay. I'm going to quit the simulator. So, um, uh, if you, this is calculator and it's made from Swift and it's going to give you a go through. So, I'm going to, we're going to do a review. So, we declared an IP outlet at first and it's called display, which displays the numbers. It's a UI label. We have a variable if the user is entering numbers, and we're going to set to false when the screen loads because, as you show, um, the user is not typing anything when when your when the when the when the view loads. Okay, and enter number. We'd say digit equals center that current title, which means like if you press seven, it would set digit to seven. And if user is entering numbers, you display that text equals display that text plus digit. So if the user is not enter, if it, the user has not entered yet numbers yet, so the first time they pressed it, it's just display the digit. User is entering numbers equals true. That means they are entering numbers because if because if here it sets to true, we don't want it to replace every single digit. So it says display dot text plus digit. That means um, the digit goes behind what is already in the display.txt. So yeah. Okay, and we have an operand stack, which has the array for all the numbers that you put in. Like, in 2 plus 3 equals 5. Um, 2 and 3 get put into the array, but then at the end, they get removed, and 5 is put replaced, replaces them. And an enter. User is entering numbers equals false. That means the user is not entering numbers. And we add another value. We add another. We add another. Um, we add another num The number in display. That we add it to the end. Append means add to the end and put it in the back. And we printed what is in the in the operand stack. We printed it to the logs, which are right here. See as you see, deleted. Okay, and in display value, we had a variable called display value double. That means when we get it, we return this. We put a number from three, which is display dot text, and we convert it to a double. And when we set it, we say display dot text equals back in quotation marks backslash in parentheses new value. And we set users entering numbers to false. Okay, and in here, in the font clear, we basically clear the screen. We clear the display. And, yeah. So we basically set the display value to zero, and we set the text to the display value, which is zero. In operate, we have an, we have a constant called operation equals center that current title, which is the title of the buttons here. this okay. and we had a switch statement so that it's sort of like a multiple if statement but so when when the text is this so operation is basically the this thing so it's a string operation is a string and that means the case quotation marks plus that means when the when operation is plus we perform the operation, which is um, dollar zero and plus dollar one, and in minus and times and divide, we do basically the same thing. And square root, we just, we use a built-in square root, 
um, function and as usual in most in all switch functions, there's a default and a break. Okay. In perform operation, this one's for like plus minus times and divide. We we need two numbers to do that, right? And that's why we put here is less than or equal to two. You need at least two numbers to do this. But in this one, this is for the square root, you only need one number. Okay? So yeah. And add we just return we turn we return the value in the add function. We return it and subtract. We it's basically you just put the symbols. Okay. So hopefully uh, I hope you got something from this video. And yeah, okay. Um uh, okay, so guys, uh thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you see my other tutorials. Bye bye.